electrical engineers this is chef Jin academy so welcome back to another amazing tutorial in this video i'm going to be looking at the trending ai features this is chat gpt this is the most powerful ai artificial intelligence in the world right now so it is an open source chat device in which you can chat with an ai and then you get response so a lot of people have been using this in area of businesses in social lives asking questions and getting answers so i now thought about how about the ability of chat gpt to answer structural analysis questions i know a lot of people have created content on asking about mathematical problems to solve mathematical problems with chat gpt so i'm making this video just to make a a check on chat gpt and structural analysis so because of that i've created a couple of two questions in which i'm going to ask chat gpt about beam analysis so this video is just to focus on beam analysis and compare the answer even though i've already analyzed the beam and i have the result so i now want to compare it with what that gpt is going to give me so if this is your first time on chef Gene academy in this channel we talk about civil engineering design so you can consider subscribing to the channel make sure you like this video if you enjoy this content you can share it with your friends this is the beam that i wanted to analyze i have a simply supported beam with a udl load of 12 kilonewton per meter and also and a point load of 20 kilonewton at the mid span so i just want to check the capability of chat tbt to analyze this so that as structural engineers we can also make use of the latest technology in our profession so the second example i have is a cantilever beam that has a concentrated load at the free hand so what i use to analyze this is beam mark software if you've been following this channel you know i've already created a video on how to analyze beam using beam max beam max is an open source software that you can use to analyze simply supported beam continuous beam cantilever beam then it's going to generate theory reports generate to you the shear force diagram the bending moment diagram as well as the displacement so all i have to do now is just to ask chat gpt to analyze this beam for me and also tell me the value of the maximum shear force and bending moment i've already written the question so the first one is this so let me just copy it so it's about what is the maximum bending moment and shear force of a simply supported beam of span six meters with a uniformly distributed load of 12 kN per meter and a point load of 20 kN at the mid span so i'm requesting that gpt to tell me the maximum bending moment and the shear force for the simply supported beam so if you are new to chat gpt i'm going to leave the link to the description is an open source you can just register and then you start asking any question is going to give you response so all you have to do is come to this send a message and just type in your mess your question so let me just copy the question here you can see this is the same question then all you have to do is to send the message so once i do this that gbt is going to start generating the response so you can give it some minutes for it to fully generate the response you can see is trying to analyze the load and determining the uh the shear force and bending moment so at the end of the day this is actually what we get from chat tpt you can see a long list so at first it's explain the question so you first of all need to calculate the reaction at the support so this is the first thing we structural engineers do before we analyze a beam in analyzing a beam we have first have to got the reaction 
so once it determines the reaction the reaction is from the loading and you can see that this step is actually uh right in determining the reaction so it determines the udl and then the point load then you have a total load of 92 kilonewton so from there it now determine the support reaction at 96 kilonewton for each support you know it's simply supported then to now calculate the maximum bending moment so it says the maximum bending moment occurs at the mid span so this is actually true so therefore it says the reaction at the supports times the distance from the supports to the point x so it's just trying to analyze the beam so at the end of the day you see that it says the bending moment diagram is equals to that reaction of 46 multiplied by 3 so it end up with 138 so if you look at this closely you see that there is something wrong here because it makes use of only the reaction and the support to determine the bending moment so but uh from the analysis that i already have you see that this is the shear force diagram chat gpt is actually right with the support reaction the support reaction is 46 that's the support reaction but the maximum bending moment at the mid span is 84 because if you look at its calculation it does not incorporate the external load of 12 and the exit load or point load of 20 kN in its calculation at the end of the day you can see that the summarized bending moment of 138 kN is wrong but the shear force is actually correct when activity give you a response you can try to ask another question related to it like i can ask something like what is the shear force or you can ask something like what is the bending moment at two meters at a distance of two meters So you can ask for that question based on what it has already given you so if you ask for that question now it's, it's going to start calculating the uh the shear force or the bending moment at that point so from there you can so the point is you can ask question based on the response you have you can also ask for that question for that question so that you can get what you are actually looking at So if you look at the response that was given here, this response is really is quite right because for you to determine the chef the mark the bending moment at a point along a beam, all you have to do is to start from point zero and also take a moment along that point. So let's say the point is two meter here, the two meter is around there. So you check the bending moment based on the contributing load so it will include the reaction as well as the as well as the uh the udl load so let us look at the second question so what i have to do is to copy this then come to this and paste so this is another question i intend to ask that tpt a two meter span can deliver beam with with a point load of 50 kN away from the support so what are the bending moment and shear force diagram at the support of the beam so let us uh wait for chat gpt response to this So you can see that from the analysis that the TPT does did now, we have the for the cantilever beam. So the first thing is to calculate the bending moment at the support, which is actually right. This is the first step to take. So you can see that the bending moment is 100 kN. This is really correct based on what we have here. You can see that the the bending moment at the support of the beam is 100 kN and also the shear force is 50 so comparing it with its response so at the support there's no load to the left end only the point load of 50 kN to the right 
therefore the shear force at the support is equal to the point load which is actually correct so the shear force is 50 kilo newton so you can see that with this you can generate keep on generating question and trying to assess the strengths and the weakness of chat gpt in analyzing beam so you cannot say it's completely reliable but at least you can still make use of it to some extent so but from my experience i think as the question gets more sophisticated then the answer is going to be likely far away from the actual solution so i hope this video is helpful for you as a structural engineer so you might be finding other ways of trying to make your work easier and also make use of the advance in technology as we have now so that is why i created this video kindly subscribe to the channel like the video and share this with your friends we are going to meet in our next class thanks